Hello, today I'm going to show you how to add a hard drive to this MacBook Pro 2011 15-inch model. Now begin to remove the 10 screws holding down the aluminum bottom frame cover. All of the screws use a Phillips double zero screwdriver set, and in this case there are three 13.5 millimeter screws in the top right, which are longer, and then seven 3 millimeter Phillips screws to complete the rest of the frame. When you are removing the screws from your MacBook, place them in the shape of which they came out of it. That way, when you reassemble it later, it is easier to find the locations and it ensures the screws go into their original location. Now you can remove the aluminum cover and reveal inside. This is a good point to inspect the MacBook for any water damage or any other damage that may have occurred from use. I, in this particular case, use this as an opportunity to dust out every MacBook's fan. Your hard drive should have four T6 Torx screws installed. In this case, I already pre-prepared mine. Connect it to the cabling, and then orient it to where it goes into the front of the MacBook first, and then into the back rail. I unscrewed the retaining bracket with the Phillips screwdriver. Re-add the retaining bracket with the Phillips screws already pre-installed, then secure the hard drive in place. You may also use a solid state drive in place of a hard drive for this tutorial. If you are not adding any more memory or replacing any other components, now you can put the aluminum cover back on and begin to put the screws back in in which the order they were removed. Be sure not to over tighten or tighten too much when the screw is not in perfect place. Verify that all the screws are flush with the aluminum bezel. Plug the charger in and with a USB installer, begin to install the OS X. Power on the MacBook and then hold the option key until you see the USB installer appear. If it does not appear, try a different brand of USB drive or rebuild the installer with a different method. At the OS X installer screen, launch the disk utility and then format the hard drive with Mac OS X Extended Journal. If you are using High Sierra and you are using a solid state drive or any newer version of Mac OS X, it is recommended you format the solid state drive in APFS container. Run through the end user experience, set your region settings, and connect it to the internet. If you are using a solid state drive, this process will go much quicker. Otherwise, be patient if you're using a hard drive. Once you've reached the desktop, you will see all the icons begin to load. At this point, you can begin configuring the OS for all of your specifications. Start by ejecting the OS X installer drive. I click on the battery and then choose Show Percentage. Next, I go to System Preferences. I like to choose Show Hard Disks on Desktop show the Bluetooth icon in the taskbar, show volume control, and play audio feedback when volume is pressed. 
I now enable dark mode. Then I also enable the magnification on the dock. Now we will run the software update. This is achieved by going to the App Store and then clicking on the Updates tab. Run the updates and let them complete. After that, you should have a fully working 2011 MacBook Pro. Enjoy!